And now in other news, while most are preoccupied with coronavirus, Israeli doctors have found a way to replace invasive and painful tests for another serious illness. Researchers now replacing biopsies for cancer with a simple blood draw. And here with a report on this medical achievement is senior research associate at the Hebrew University and CEO of Sincera Health, Dr. Ronen Sadeh. Dr. Sadeh, thank you so much for being with us. Now, first of all, what kind of information do we get from a normal biopsy? Well, thank you for having me. Well, uh, when, we, when we know about a disease that happens in our body and we can see it, then we can take a biopsy. And from the biopsy, we can learn a lot. We can learn about uh, the damage to the cells. We can do genomics on it. We can stain it for different antibodies and understand what exactly is the problem with the tissue. Is it cancer? Is it inflammation? And so on and so forth. And, and oftentimes, this is a very painful process and a very dangerous process for the patient. So it really means that in many, in many occasions, we can only take a biopsy once. And we cannot really go and repeat the, this, this process because it's just simply impossible. So, so you and your team developed this new alternative to biopsies. How does it work? What do you get from it? And can you perform that more than once? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So what we are, what we are doing is, is we're looking at DNAs that is reaching the blood. So when cells die in our body, especially when, when something goes wrong, they, they shed some of their DNA into the blood. And the problem with that, and people have been looking at, on this DNA for a long time, and, and they, they looked at the sequence of the DNA, and, and people use this DNA in order to identify mutations that are associated with cancer. But the problem with, with just looking at the DNA sequence is that the DNA sequence in all our cells is the same. So there's no difference in a DNA sequence between a brain cell and a liver cell, for example. However, we are not looking just at the DNA itself. We are looking at the DNA and some very important information that is associated with the DNA that has to do with the packing, the packaging of the DNA into the cell nucleus. And when we combine this information, the packaging of the DNA and the DNA sequence, then we can see differences between different cell types, different cell states. So we can differentiate and, and say if the DNA came to the blood from the brain or the liver, and if it came from a healthy liver or an inflamed liver, or maybe uh, from a cancer cell in the liver. That's incredible. All right, so, you know, I know a lot of times in, in science uh, and research, things are oftentimes kind of stumbled upon and found almost accidentally. In what way did, in, in what way did you and your team discover this new method? Yeah, so we, we've been working in a lab for a long time on uh, a field that is called epigenetics. And actually, epigenetics is, is trying to understand how the genome works. So why is a liver cell different from a brain cell? They have the same DNA. How come they're so different? Uh, and the, and, and the, the, the secret, secret behind it is that uh, there, are, there is a code that is written on the proteins that are associated with the, with the DNA. And, this, and the cells can use this code in order to actually use certain parts of the genome, but ignore other parts. One day, we wanted to think, we, we, we wanted to think about ideas that are outside the box and, and to see what we can we do with all this information that we learned. Uh, and we thought, well, maybe the DNA in the blood actually preserve this epigenetic information. Maybe we can do something in it. And this is how it started. The rest is history, as I say. All right, well, this is an incredible discovery. I'm so excited to hear about it, and I can't wait to see uh, the future of this. Dr. Ronin Sadeh, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much.